हेलो व्यूवर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम डेफिनेट इंटीग्रल्स राइट एंड हेयर वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम इन विच वी हैव द इंटीग्रल फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एंड द इंटीग्रेंट इज एफ ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स रेज टू माइनस टू एंड हेयर वी हैव लॉग एक्स डिवाइडेड बाई एक्स डी एक्स राइट सो हेयर इन द इंटीग्रेंट वी हैव अ फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स रेज टू माइनस टू राइट ओके नाउ सी हेयर वी हैव द लिमिट्स दैट इज फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी राइट सो एक्स गोज फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी एंड लेट एस कॉल दिस इंटीग्रल एज आई राइट नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस इंटीग्रल विल फर्स्ट मेक यूज ऑफ द मेथड ऑफ सब्सटीट्यूशन राइट so here uh, we'll make use of the substitution that is uh, x is equal to uh, 1 over y right or we can write y is equal to 1 over x right okay now see here we have uh, x is equal to 0 right so when x tends to 0 uh, then uh, y tends to infinity right so because uh, we are taking the substitution x is equal to 1 over y and uh, uh, we can also write y is equal to 1 over x so when x tends to 0 then y tends to infinity and when x tends to infinity then uh, y tends to 0 uh, right so in the uh, integral uh, when we will write this integral in terms of y then the limits uh, will interchange right so now uh, let us uh, differentiate this relation right so dx is equal to d of 1 over y so this is d of y raised to minus 1 so we have minus uh, y raised to minus 2 dy right so the derivative of uh, 1 over y is minus uh, 1 over y square dy right so this is the value of dx now let us write this integral uh, in terms of y right so we have y uh, i is equal to uh, infinity to 0 and here we have f of x square so x is replaced by 1 over y so we have 1 over y square then here we have x raised to minus 2 so we have 1 over uh, y raised to minus 2 and log of x so we can write log of 1 over y and uh, here we have x so this is 1 over y and dx is replaced by minus 1 over y square dy right so now uh, let us rearrange uh, this integral right so we have integral and see here we have a negative sign right so we can uh, neutralize this negative sign by interchanging the limits right so we can now write the limits as 0 to infinity and uh, will neutralize this negative sign because we know that uh, the integral a to b f of x dx is equal to negative of b to a f of x dx right so if we interchange the uh, limits then the value of the integral it becomes negative right so here we have 0 to infinity then we have f and 1 over y square can be written as y raised to minus 2 and if we take y raised to minus 2 to the numerator it would uh, it would become positive so we have plus 2 right and here we have log of y raised to minus 1 because this is 1 over y and see here a y and 1 power of y get cancelled so we are left with simply uh, y and dy right so we can write 1y uh, over the denominator of log y raised to minus 1 so now uh, using the property of uh, log see log of y raised to minus 1 is minus of log y right because log m raised to n is n log m right 
so we can now write this integral i as integral from 0 to infinity f of y square y raised to minus 2 plus y square and here we have log of y over y dy and this negative sign can be taken outside this integral right so now we can see that uh, this integral is similar to this one except the fact that here we have the variable x and here we have the variable y right so now if we change the variable from y to x then this integral can be written as negative then we have uh, 0 to infinity and f of uh, x raised to minus 2 plus x square and here we have log of y divided by uh, this is x this is also x and dx right so what we have done here we have replaced this y by the variable x right because uh, we know uh, the dummy variable property of definite integrals that is a to b f of x dx is same as a to b f of t dt right so if we replace the variable uh, x by t then the value of the definite integral uh, remains the same right okay so now we can see that this is our original integral 0 to infinity f of x raised to minus 2 plus x square log x over x dx right so we have i is equal to negative of i right because this integral is equal to i so we have i plus i is equal to 0 this is 2i is equal to 0 so i is equal to 0 right so viewers the value of this integral is equal to 0 right